Silver Secret, I'm telling you, you're being ridiculous. There is absolutely, no, don't you look away from me. There is no reason that we have to match in order to go and solve some of these mysteries. Don't you want to understand what is happening to the wolves in the mountains? Or what is going on in this new world of Mistfall and Dundell? Hmm? Ugh, fine, I see that stubborn glint in your eye. Ah, hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online! And we are here with my very handsome detective horse, Silver Secret, and his companion, Canine Copper. And here I thought that I would just be able to jump on the back of Silver Secret, who loves answering mysteries and unraveling all of the secrets that happen to have, um, you know, wiggled their way into some of the more dubious human-related mysteries of Yorvik. Um, but he refuses to let me ride him until we match better. Apparently, my beautiful green and brown outfit of druidness and this random assortment of things I literally <laughs> desperately yanked out of my closet to throw on top of him so that he would have something to wear don't match. And so he refuses to listen to me until we fix that. So I guess we have a little bit of shopping to do. Let's see if I can make him match me before I try to make uh, me match him. In fact, let's go ahead and jump on his back. So that way we're right next to each other and we can see what will happen. But I am so excited, you guys, because I think we are on the beginning steps of unlocking Mistfall, which I have been told by so many of my amazing friends, especially all of the horse lovers and the Star Stable players in our patron group, that I am going to completely love. They won't even talk about it much with me because they're like, no, no, Siri, I have to know how you are going to react. You're going to love it. It is going to be a place after your own heart. And we're going to have to find out if that's true. All right, Edward, I have a stubborn horse. We need to have some gear that matches. I prefer the greens. He prefers the blues. That is a very, very blue blanket. Hang on here. Silver secret turn a little bit. Not too much because then I can't talk to him. Oh my gosh. Traditional fir grove craftsmanship. I thought it would be like all greens. Oh, this night saddle. Ooh, that riders who don't want to be seen at night often use this. <gasps> Silver secret. I know you like the blues, but I love my druids outfit. And then you could be a really good detective. What do you think? I think that might be really good for him. And then let's see, checkered green bridle. There's the mountain commander. Oh, that actually is a good one for him. Uh, the fir grove reins, which is very beautiful. Maybe if we go for dark blacks and blues, he'll be happy. Pink checkered blanket, leopard bridle. I don't think he'd be... <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. A giraffe saddle. I'm going to buy it. And we're not going to make him wear it. I think he would literally buck me off. But I love giraffe related things. And I didn't know. I didn't know. Now I do. Pretty darn happy. There's a beautiful pro blanket, which probably will be good for him. A green and black. I swear I have the bridle already, the green and black one. A light brown classic saddle. A dark green sporty blanket. Uh, let's see. Red Yorvik saddle. White Yorvik saddle. Let's see. A night Again, another very dark night riding saddle. Where is the difference between the two? One is like pitch black and one is kind of like a tone of gray. The mountain seat. You can climb any mountain with this gear. Oh, that's a good one. I don't know if he'd wear it. Uh, oh, and the fur grove saddle, a traditional fur grove craftsmanship. And it is all blue. Uh, I think I can go ahead and get the night saddle. So let's go ahead and buy the night saddle. And we are going to have him wear that instead. I can't believe there's a giraffe saddle. I'm so happy. And then we might look around a little bit more. But I think blue sporty blanket. Uh, I think this pro blue blanket would be good for him. And then as far as the bridles go, if he had the pro blue blanket and then these blue bridles, this blue bridle, I mean, there we go. Let's try that out. I think that'll work. Phew. And then now I think I, I'm actually a lot happier with that. Wonderful. Great, let's just find you some socks. Um, let's put this on. Oh, that's so much better. Yes, yeah, see, now he is happy. We still don't really match in terms of like full appearance. I might have to tweak that a little bit. Let's see if there's something for me to wear, even though I love this outfit. Uh, let's see. There is, oh, nice, hang on. Okay, I've got to turn a little bit so I can see what's happening. All right, there's 
I think like shirts would be the most important. There's, that's really cute. This brown school top uniform. Oh my gosh, that's actually really cute. That looks like a little Girl Scout uniform. I'm going to buy that. That's adorable. Um, and it comes with a cute little skirt that looks completely like something you would wear if you were like going to go on a little Girl Scout ranger expedition. That's adorable. There's a white riding jacket, which I can totally see him trying to get me to wear to match. Uh, jumping, mountain shirt, Foxgrove shirt. Let's see, these fancy shirts, nothing really. I Look, you have you have your blues. I have my greens. They don't the two don't mix as well as they should but it's not it's literally not the miscellaneous <laughs> randomness that i forced upon you at first sir he is trotting with a little bit more pleasure this time all right let's just check this area out ant pants ants in my pants why would i want to wear ant pants that's a bit of a curious thing silver glade jacket red checkered jacket line jacket okay red jacket i didn't know that reds were such a big thing here mountain bridle Fergrove restaurant. I could have sworn I just put that on. Fergrove blanket. And then let's see. There's a few that I can kind of set as goals to try to earn. But I think we're doing good. I wish I had some socks to give him, but I don't think anyone has any for sale here. So we're good. <laughs> You're looking better. I think he's going to fuss at me less and we can move on. I think, I, do I have anything that could help me match him a little bit better? Eh, nothing that I, I actually want to wear, though I have to admit. That's so cute. It looks like I'm gonna go out and sell Girl Scout cookies. That's adorable. I love that. Oh my gosh. All right, moving on. We can now come back to the mystery. Now that you still, okay, Silver Secret, I have to point out, you do look absolutely amazing. And this is now officially your gear. I won't take it off you. It belongs to you. Um, and that makes me happy. All right, so Dr. Neen, Granny Rose. Hello, random citizen with adorable Dalmatian. And finally, my new good friend. Let us find out what this quarantine is all about. All right. Rania, dear, what have you got yourself into now? A quarantine? How is your mother? What's going on? I don't, I don't know, Granny Rose. These people came into Dundle and said our water's not safe. But I know that can't be true. Our spring has the cleanest water in Jorvik. Honey, I know you're brave, but if doctors are saying it's dangerous for you to leave... I know, Grandma, but I couldn't miss our visit, and I brought you these. Cloudberry jam? It's kind of leaky. Oops. They must have gotten squished when I fell. You're a kind girl, and there's no doubt that you've got that very, uh, very anger grit, but that doesn't excuse stirring up this kind of trouble. Trust me, Grandma. I'm a good judge of character, and that Dr. Oplet is as slippery as they come. Something's not right about this quarantine. I haven't had so much as a sneeze in Dundle since they showed up. I'm inclined to agree. If this was a legitimate medical emergency, it would be all over the news. I haven't heard about- I've heard about construction on the road to Mistfall, but a quarantine? It does not up. I like this woman and I love her earrings. <gasps> and imagine how cool it would be if you could wear her little stethoscope as decor. Ah, oh, that'd be awesome. We have to get to the bottom of this. Saga, will you come with me back to Dundle? Oh, I was hoping you would ask. Now, now, Rania, we've asked enough of Saga already. Don't go dragging her into more trouble. Now, don't worry, Grandmama. You see, my horse Silver Secret is literally made for these kinds of detective mysteries. He could care less when it comes to anything that has to do with magic or the basics of maintaining a community's farming and ecosystems. But when it comes to unraveling the tangled web of human conspiracies, that's what he's here for. I get the sense she likes an adventure. And besides, Granny, I trust her. So what do you say, Saga? Care to stick your neck into trouble with me? Oh, you betcha. That sounds like me, all right. You're with me? Yay! I had a feeling you'd say yes. Everyone says I'm a good judge of character. Well, this is shaping up to be my shortest visit ever. Alrighty. Now what? Sorry to leave so soon, Granny Rose, but I have to figure out what Dr. Oplet is up to. If it's alright with you, I'd like to tag along. I was planning to visit Dundle anyway to be closer to the wild horses in Mistfall. That'd make me a lot more comfortable knowing there's a grown-up along for the ride. Hey now, I turn 30 next month, lady. <laughs> Granny, I don't need a chaperone, but who am I to turn down a fellow animal lover? If you don't mind following the blind, Dr. Aaron, welcome to the team. <sighs> I love how she just 
takes ownership of everything in her life. She is like my new favorite character in all of Jorvik. I am enchanted. But how are we going to get past the roadblock? Even if the outbreak is fishy, the roadblock is very real. Trust me, Doc. If we're meant to be there, we'll find a way. <sighs> well, if you're set on this, I might have a solution. It so happens Councilman X... Eh? Has a soft spot for cloudberry jam. Let me just transfer the berries you brought me into a jar and voila! A gift that's sure to win favor from the Councilman. Oh, Granny, and here I thought you stuck to the straight and narrow. She knows the way the world works. Uh, okay, wait. So, jam, Councilman... I think the councilman's like at his house to the left over here. Oh man, I can tell Silver Secret's excited to be back in the star. Like we were only supposed to keep five horses and now suddenly we're up to six, but this is perfect for Silver Secret. Mr. Franklin, I bequeath upon you some smooshed cloud berries. And did you know that that makes some jam? Okay, Mr. Franklin, sorry. We've, we've got a little bit of a crowd. Oh dear. Uh, hang on, ladies, that's so nice to meet you, but this is why I try to get on when people are in school. Because now I can't, I can't, help me! Mr. Franklin, take this cloudberry jam! <laughs> oh my gosh, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. He is so stubborn. There we go. Hello there, Saga. It's nice to see you again. Are you a friend of Rania's? Oh, and what do we have here? Cloudberry jam? My favorite. So you want to get to Dundle? I received some sort of notice saying only GED representatives are allowed to pass on account of the quarantine. What would GED have to do with a medical quarantine, though? But considering it's Rania's home and you've got a doctor going with you, not to mention this delicious cloudberry jam, I suppose I could get you a pass. Here you are. Just show this to the workers of the roadblock at the Mistfall Tunnel and they'll let you through. All right, so I think we just got permission. All right, Saga, that's our ticket back to my home. The doctor and I will meet you at the tunnel. Are you sure you don't want me to take the reins? What's the matter, Doc? Don't trust me? Let's go, Dellinger. Yeah. All right. And she's off. Oh, that's so cool. All right. And we're going to be right behind her. Can I seriously unlock Dundle now? I would be so happy. All right. Off we go. Let's take off. And I think I, I actually, I vaguely, 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 vaguely remember a long time ago going down to the construction site that was down here. And it was so old, nobody else was there. And it only had rumors of possibly turning into something in the far, far flung future. And none of my friends knew anything about it and they just shrugged and were like, yeah, nobody ever goes there because nothing's ever happened. It's looked like that. It's kind of messy and old for a long time. And I think in the end, it was all leading up to this. So I'm really excited to come down. Oh, it's a duck! Oh, I love seeing birds and ducks flying overhead. I hope the ducks at the fountain at Silverglade are doing well. But I'm going to be so tickled if... Oh, hello there. Whoop. Silver Secret, this is totally his element. He doesn't enjoy being out in the forest as much as he enjoys being on the trail of some great mysteries. All right. Through the woods... Here we go. I think this will lead us to it. It looks like it will. And I guess the ocean is supposed to be just a little bit to our right. Oh, butterfly. I wish I could. Oh, look. And there was one of those rune stones. Good to know that one of them is out here. That may mean that some of my uh, other horses will be happy to come here. Wow. Hang on here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I have tears in my eyes. The roadblock is just ahead. Out of my way. Seriously. Out of my way. Hold it right there. This area is under quarantine. No one enters Mistfall without the proper papers. I got him, buddy. Deal with it. Out of my way. What's that? You have permission from Councilman Franklin and Furgrove? Let me see that. Everything seems to be in order. The doctor, I can understand. Not sure why they'd send a couple of teenage girls, well, thank you, into a quarantine zone, but I guess it's none of my business. Go ahead, you can enter. All right, I'm on it. Oh boy. Oh boy, Rydia. What did I tell you? We were meant to do this. Getting to Dundle from here is easy. I don't even need my eyes to find my way. Just follow the road and we'll be there in no time. Giddy up, darlinger. Let's go home. Ooh. Oh my gosh, guys, there's a star! There's a star stable star! 
Let's fetch it! Oh! Silver Secret, this is also what you live for. He loves finding these little hidden mysteries. You guys, we found a star! No idea what the purpose of collecting those is, but we found it! All right, and in we go. The fire trail, huh? Yeah, I'm, oh, mushrooms. Oh, this reminds me of being up in the mountains of North Carolina and I've got tears in my eyes. I didn't realize I missed it so much. I didn't realize I could be so in love with somewhere that I've never been before. Probably because it reminds me so much about where I used to live. Whew. All right, let's keep going. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Oh, this is just like being back up in the hills of the mountains of Boone. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I want to take this slow. There's only one. Oh, there's little flowers on the sign there. Oh, morning glories. I only get one chance to see this fresh for the very first time. Look at the mountains. I didn't know I missed the mountains so much. I wonder if it's because I fell in love with chips there? Maybe that has something to do with it? There's butterflies in the ocean on one side. I didn't know I would be able to get here. I would have tried weeks earlier, but I thought it was going to be locked to me for forever. Oh, beautiful flowers. All right, let's keep going. Oh, look at those tide pools. How fun would it be to be able to play in them? Look, and you can see Fort Pinta from here. Oh, and look, there's the South Peninsula. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's seagulls. Wow, there's willows. Oh my gosh. This place is so pretty. Oh, and there's butterflies everywhere. Hold up, Saga. I heard something. Can you hear it too? The whimpering wolf? It's coming from over there. A whimpering sound, like a dog that's lost and frightened. I don't hear anything. Oh, I see it! Way over there! Wow, you have quite an ear, Vania. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. There's a lost, lonely, hurt little wolf. That's no dog. It's a wolf. It's all alone. It might be hurt. Doc, you have to help it. Maybe that's not such a good idea. Even a single wolf can be quite dangerous when injured. If you two stay here, I could... Trust me, Doc. The wolves in Mistfall are totally harmless. Not in real life, guys. Do not go up to wild wolves in real life, please. Mistfall, it's fine. Not real life, please. Come on. Looks like I don't have a choice. Well, Saga, shall we? Oh my goodness. We're gonna go help a wolf. <gasps> what? Silver secret. Look at those flowers. Look at those flowers. There's a recycling bin. <gasps> Every detail. I become a little bit more in love. The lone wolf woes. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay. The poor little one needs some help and we're going to help him. It's okay, fella. We're here to help. All right, guys. Well, this is going to set so many of you into a frenzy of excitement, but we are going to take care of this lone wolf and begin to explore the absolutely beautiful, I'm not even there yet, <gasps> the beautiful world of Mistfall next time. So I'll see you all then. Bye-bye.